If S is a set of strings that are pairwise distinguishable over a language L, a finite automaton recognizing L must have at least as many states as there are elements of S. But it could have more. So can we find an upper bound? To answer that, let's partition the set of strings in a useful way. So generally speaking, a useful partition is done using equivalence classes. So here's a quick refresher. Let squiggle be a relationship on things. That is reflexive, a squiggle a, symmetric, if a squiggle b, then b squiggle a, and transitive, if a squiggle b and b squiggle c, then a squiggle c. Then squiggle is an equivalence relationship. Now I'm calling it squiggle, but the idea of an equivalence relationship is modeled after the equal symbol but it's important to keep in mind that it's much more general. Now once we have an equivalence relation, then given any A, the set of all things related to A using squiggle form the equivalence class, which we write this way, and we call A the class representative. So it's vitally important to remember there are only so many symbols. We have to reuse, reduce, and recycle. What this means is that anytime we see squiggle or any other equivalent symbol, the important question is, what does this mean in this particular context? So let L be a language over sigma, and let x, y be strings, and let x squiggle y if x cannot be distinguished with respect to L. Show that squiggle is an equivalence relationship. So remember, proofs begin one level down. We want to show that for any x, y, z in squiggle, that x squiggle x, if x squiggle y, then y squiggle x, and if x squiggle y and y squiggle z, then x squiggle z. So remember, we need to begin one level down. So to show that x squiggle x, we need to show that x and x are indistinguishable with respect to L. So let y be any string. To be distinguishable, one of xy or xy would have to be in our language, and the other would not be. But since they are the same string, either both strings are in L, or neither is. So x is in fact indistinguishable from x, and definition out of the whole of mathematics, all else is commentary, that means that x squiggle x. Next, we want to prove that if x squiggle y, then y squiggle x. So remember, you can always assume the antecedent of a conditional. In other words, if you have an if-then statement, you can always assume the if portion. So suppose x squiggle y. Definitions are the whole of mathematics. All else is commentary. Then x and y are indistinguishable over our language. So consider any string z, then either xz, yz are both in L, or neither is. But this means either yz, xz are both in L, or neither is. And so y is indistinguishable from x. Finally, let's check for transitivity. So remember, we can always assume the antecedent of a conditional, and in this case, that antecedent is x squiggle y and also y squiggle z. So again, definitions are the whole of mathematics, all else is commentary. In this case, squiggle means the two strings are indistinguishable. So for any string w, xw and yw are either both in L or neither is. So suppose xw is in L then yw is also in L. Since y squiggles z, then either both yw and zw are in L, or neither is. But yw is in L, so zw is also in L. And so for any string, if xw is in L, then zw is also in L. By a similar argument, if xw is not in L, then zw is not in L, and so x squiggle z. 
The proceeding proves that squiggle, where x squiggle y whenever x and y are distinguishable with respect to L, is an equivalence relationship. So the elements of our string can be partitioned into the equivalence classes, where x is in a particular equivalence class if x squiggle a. Now suppose L is a language. What do the equivalence classes look like? To begin with, suppose x is in our language. If L includes all strings, it isn't very interesting or useful. So let's assume there's some y that's not part of our language. Can we distinguish x from y? So remember, nothing counts. Since the empty string is a string, what happens if we concatenate with the empty string? Since x lambda is just x, then x lambda is in L. And since y lambda is y, then y lambda is not in L. So x and y are distinguishable with respect to L, since we can append the empty string and get one string that is and one string that isn't in our language. This also means that every string in our language corresponds to an equivalence class generated by the string itself. Now, while we have an equivalence class for every string in our language, many of those might be the same. So we might begin with one and see what others we need to include. Let's take a look at that next.